America is going full joker. Tribulations in the streets, soon at your door. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praise to you. Hashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rabbacha Kodash. Double honors to my elders, that great men stone talking is true. Sing honors to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the censored men, women, and children. Do consist of the one third and to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. This is from Fortune.com. Elon Musk says the shoplifting epidemic is giving him late stage Roman Empire vibes. Quote, America is going full joker, unquote. As chains like Target shut down stores amid rampant thievery, the tycoon worries whether America is unraveling at the seams. Well, America, according to the scriptures, is the mystery before Babylon. And there are so many reasons why America is unraveling. One thing you have to understand. In the Bible, when the Lord said that his kingdom, it tells you in, in, in the prayer, the Lord's prayer, thy kingdom, um, thy will shall be done in earth as it is in heaven. And he said his kingdom is going to be here on earth. It's going to be forever. So every kingdom on earth has always had a beginning and an end. And this is the end for America. And the reason why it's so, we're going to get into it later on, but mainly looking at the slavery. Let's continue, though. Let's continue. So, <clears throat> get straight to the point. The incident highlights the dilemma brick and mortar retailers face as they come to grips with an epidemic of organized shoplifting. Nowadays, even baby formula can be found locked behind anti-theft plexiglass. And I've seen that even in the stores. They have condoms back there. They have formula. They will have like t-shirts, boxers, pampers. Because people will be stealing that stuff. Why? Because they can't afford it. They can't afford it. Like over 60 to 70 percent of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. They just can't afford it. So 2 Ezra chapter 15 verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, which is the gun today, and spoil their goods, spoil mean take, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. See, right now they're openly going to public establishments, meaning that you can walk in there off the street and they're, they're stealing items and walking out or running out, so to say. Foot Locker, Target. What, what was the other um, spots? Um, Apple stores, Lululemon. They're taking stuff and running out. Now, those things are not victual, so to say, in majority of the cases. But you know people are stealing things that they need. And I, I'm going to be honest. I always say this. There's nothing in this life worth stealing, whether it's food, water, or clothes. If somebody has to steal food, water, or clothing, they got to be down on their luck. Now, if you're stealing a pack of Newports, or you're stealing some beer, or you're stealing some weave, or, nah, stop it. Stop it. You know, but this is the this is the world that we're coming to right now. Back in the article. Perhaps more than any fictional work of late, its portrayal of society coming apart at the seams has come to symbolize the late stage civilization vibes that Musk claims to feel of late when witnessing scenes of rampant theft. And he thought about, it tells you in the article, I'm trying to get to the point though, it tells you about how in the in the movie Batman, the Joker, he incited a riot in the streets. And like this in the incite the the, the um I don't know if it's, it's the incitement. I don't even know if it's a word. But what's what's been exciting these riots in the streets is it's because of it's because of the love of money. The rich, the rich, they love money. But that's the that's the that's the root of all evil. I remember I listened to this podcast. He said, "The only reason you truly have crime is because people are poor." They're hungry, they're thirsty, they're naked, they're starving, they're ill. 
That's why people commit crimes. Now, granted, other than sexual crimes or egregious crimes like being a cannibal or like selling drugs, but more, I'm saying like majority of the crimes because people can't afford to live according to this minimum wage and according to the society. So first Timothy chapter six, verse nine through 10, but they that will be rich fall into temptation in a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition, which also goes back to drowning in debt. Hence America has that thick clay in the book of um, Habakkuk, which refers to Debt. America is trillions of dollars in debt. A lot of countries and allies are leaving America behind and they're getting rid of the dollar, which is going to leave America to fend for itself, which is going to cause World War Three, going to cause race wars here and so much all at one time. Nonetheless, let's continue. First Timothy chapter six, verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money, not money's not evil, the love of it which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Now, America got rich off of free labor. We call it hardcore bondage in this ministry. Slavery. For centuries. Free labor for centuries. They came up big, right? It's like hitting the lottery. But see, it's to their demise as well. Harkin, Sirach chapter 10, verse 8, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Modern people today will be like, no, it's because Negroes and Spanish, they lazy, they don't want to work. You see, all they know is from this modern time when they were born up until now. These same people would not go into the history And look at the history on the field, Negro, the house Negro, what a mammy is, right? How the the Willie Lynch letter psychologically destroyed us. They don't want to go into how we had to go through post-slavery syndrome. Like how we had to go through centuries of being dehumanized and then be quote-unquote retaught this society's standards and then thrown into a society that was never created for us. And then you see the product of 2023 right now and then make it seem like we was always like this. But I digress. I digress because we're under the curses. You're supposed to mock and laugh at us and clap at us. The Lord said that. The Lord said he was going to do that. You, you're just fulfilling prophecy. But this is the end of your society. Right? Because um, what it says, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it. I follow it. Your world is crumbling. Ours is constantly being rebuilt as we speak day and day because we're chatting down Babylon. Right? But even though Elon Musk speaks about late state civilization vibes, someone from an anonymous, from the group anonymous said, welcome to late stage capitalism. I love it. That's even better. Late stage capitalism. Let me break down what capitalism to you in a very, very simple format. Occam's razor. When the rich want infinite wealth using finite resources. I'm going to say it again. When the rich want infinite wealth using finite resources. Infinite means ongoing. There's not a destination. There's not a goal or quota. You just continue to do it to infinity and beyond, right? Buzz Lightyear. Finite means that there's a number. There's a threshold. Like scarcity will be natural resources, natural occurring elements. So they want to get all the money they can off of these resources. And guess what? You're also a commodity too. People are also a commodity. Pay attention. So Rock 13 and 19. As the wild ass is the lions prey in the wilderness, so the rich eat up the poor. So how can they get infinite wealth? I don't know. Through us? 
They created something called the minimum wage, people. They dictate how much money you make because they already take the taxes out before the money get into your on direct deposit. You walk down, bust your ass, Uncle Sam said, thank you, come again. Right? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 5 through 6. For our time is a very shadow that passeth away. This is the rich speaking. And after our end, there is no returning. For it is fast sealed so that no man cometh again. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present and let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth. That also includes you and me. We're creatures, right? They use us however they feel needs. Like Henry Kissinger said. He said, GRs are dumb dogs used for foreign policy. Everybody's so patriotic, right? Fools, man. Nonetheless, the Georgia Godstone, remember that? They look at you as useless eaters, people. This is, they want, you know what? When they're in their private jets flying to wherever they're going, they love to see the traffic jams from like 8 in the morning to like 1030. They love to see the traffic jams from like 3.30 in the afternoon to like 7 o'clock. They love to see the rat race, people honking, blowing horns, road raging, fighting accidents. They love that. They love the chaos, auto app chaos. They love to see that. Because they're just ruling the world and watching you just fight for the crumbs when they have the whole bakery. You're not even fighting for a slice of bread. You're fighting for crumbs and they have the whole bakery. Right? So, remember, the Georgia Godstone had an inscription on it. They took the Georgia Godstone down. I wonder why. And the inscription read, Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Hmm. How would you get to 500 million from 8 billion people? Hmm. <coughs> I digress. So, <laughs> going into 2nd Edge chapter 5, verse 1 through 2, we're coming into very tough times, y'all. Pay attention. Nevertheless, as coming to tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number. And the way of truth shall be hidden. It's not hidden now. So this is talking about future tense. The, the doors of repentance are open now. There's going to be a time. There's going to be a famine of the word. And you're going to remember what you heard, but then the Lord going to take it away from you. You're going to be lost out there looking for the men of the Lord. With me and Shabbat doing the word today, man, I, man, so many people Riding by, waving, hitting the horn, peace sign. He, he, one dude he like he was a J, he like he was a, um even like he could have been a J, and a nice three what was a three seventy Z, Nissan all black, rolled by, looked out the window, threw the peace sign and kept moving. Like, listen, this, this this truth is out there. There's no excuse anymore. But once it's once it's hidden from you, psh, if you knew better, you should have did better. Let me get back to it. So it. Second Edge chapter 5, verse 1 through 2. I'm going to close out soon. Nevertheless, as coming to tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number. And the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Remember what the scripture says? Was it Luke 18? Yeah, how shall I say? When the Son of Man come, shall he find faith on earth? That's how it's going to be that bad. You're going to be like, damn, do anybody believe in God now? Because everybody's going to be so carnal. Verse 2. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest. This ain't nothing, y'all. This ain't nothing. Or that thou hast heard long ago. Yes, that is to come. That is to come. But for us who fear you, how about Shimei HaVashah, by Hashem Rechakodash, the Lord got something in store for us. Pay attention. Pay attention. Then we'll close out. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 74 through 76. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. 
but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for God, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is your God. Here comes the point, y'all, for us not to worry. In the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, we have a far greater chance than those who don't even consider the Lord. Let that sink in. In the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, sisters, just stay humble and keep the commandments and precepts. Say if the Lord God, men, you know what to do. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So going back to Mr. Musk. No pun intended. Elon Musk says the shoplifting epidemic is giving him late stage Roman Empire vibes. America is going full Joker. So with that being said, I pray you was at fine and fast. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Come out to Allah. Waflubber ball. Shalom.